Svetlana Drugaveka-Daljanska worked at St. Petersburg State University for 41 years. On 13th of October 2023, she was dismissed. The reason was her decision to act as an independent expert in the court case of artist and musician Sasha Sachilenko. The girl is accused of spreading fakes about the Russian army because she changed price tags in the shop for stickers with information about Russia's war against Ukraine. The philologist is sure that she was unreasonably dismissed from the university and her work as an expert had no political motivation. I prefer to live in a bookcase, coming out of it occasionally for bread. But when I looked at this tender, proof, beautiful girl, I fell madly sorry for her. Svetlana Drugavika Daljanskaya, teacher at St. Petersburg State University, in an interview to current time. Meanwhile, Viktor Karnienka, an associate professor of urology at the First Pavlov State University of St. Petersburg, was fired for his anti-war stance. The reason was a denunciation from his old acquaintance. It is unfortunate that we break our own laws and persecute people for thinking differently. You can't judge a person for that, much less deprive them of their favorite job. Viktor Karnienka, associate professor of the urology department of the First Pavlov State Medical University of St. Petersburg, in an interview to Current Time. Dismissal of teachers for their anti-war stances is becoming widespread in Russia. Ramiz Manafli, a geography teacher at Moscow School number 498, was fired from his job for his anti-war post in social media. He wrote that he did not want to, quote, be a mirror of state propaganda. The order says that I am dismissed for immoral behavior, so my post is immoral and my employment record book also refers to this article. Teachers are not only fired but also tried. In the Nizhny Novgorod region, English teacher Olga Lizunova was prosecuted for so-called discreditation of the Russian army. You may know me as the English teacher who called Putin crazy in front of the students. In fact, I said a lot of things at that time, but I don't don't regret any of them. After Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the Kremlin has toughened penalties for citizens disloyal to the regime. The most popular articles are on discreditation of Russian army and spreading fakes. The defendants face up to 15 years in prison. According to Radio Liberty, at least 53 teachers at Russian universities and schools have faced administrative or criminal prosecution since February 24, 2022. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.